like this, right? Yeah, the goal of the event today is really to give our elected officials and media an opportunity to go out <clears throat> and for a, at least a short time, about an hour, experience what our providers out in the field, our paramedics and EMTs experience every day going out in full PPE and doing their jobs. Is he gonna live? I think he's gonna make it. We're seeing more COVID calls right now than we have since the beginning of the pandemic. That alone takes a toll on my providers. We're busier than we've ever been. Um, we've been running over 3,000 calls a month since May. We've never done that before May. Um, that's taking a toll on my providers. And then just the additional wearing the PP on every single call. As you can imagine, you your goggles fog up, you're trying to start an IV on a patient, um, you're wearing the mask, you're wearing a gown. Um, you know, it's just, it's an additional burden that we've been doing for the last 18 months. <laughs> Crisis standards of care for us in the field at Ada County Paramedics and our entire access system wide, nothing has changed. Uh, the hospitals are asking us to still bring in every patient to them. We're still going out and doing full resuscitative efforts on people that go into cardiac arrest. So literally nothing has changed for us um, up to this point. And we're working with the hospitals on a daily basis and, and it doesn't look like we're gonna be changing that anytime soon. My people are stressed. They're, they're stressed from the additional call volume, um, you know, the, the COVID patients day in, day out. So it's definitely taking a toll on my people too. We found out firsthand how hard these uh, paramedics work because it, it is an exhausting task and we were only doing it for about an hour. But it's exhausting. I, I come in and I'm sweaty and it was only, only after one hour. So it's an exhausting ca uh, task and so we do have a lot of heroes and heroines here and the community should remember them and thank them for their service.